Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are uh, playing as the Thakur of uh, Mohada Vasaka, trying to restore the Hephthalite Empire, um, which is... We need uh, Punjab. I think we need Delhi. Uh, I believe we need Rajputana, and we're actually, like, right outside of Rajputana, so... We don't have any of the land we need yet. Uh, but Rajputana, Punjab, I think Delhi, Kashmir, Transoxiana, and Khotan. So we need all of these. This is going to put us directly uh, against quite a few powerful forces. Um, the uh, Tagliabids, uh, Tibet, China. I guess technically uh, the Bajanids. Though they're not all that powerful yet. Uh, also, the Abbasids have uh, gotten involved in this holy war here, which is not going to go well for us, I think. <clears throat> which is a shame. Uh, but in addition to that, we want to become Samrat Chakravartin, which means that we need to push in uh, down here. Um, and then we need to uh, get the Red Sea Resort. Mend the schism, quote unquote, <laughs> over here, and then get up to the British Isles. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. Anyway, for now, uh, we are just trying to get a claim down here. Uh, I would like to get this county and this county as well. So once I get a claim, unless it takes a really long time, because uh, I'd kind of like to just grab all of this all at once. Uh, that would give me a lot of power. And I guess it would get me the Lata Duchy. I could do that one. But unfortunately, I do not have any... Yeah, like, I need... I would need these two to get this, uh, this duchy. We're probably going to be using, uh, the... County claims quite a bit. We're going to be using a lot of uh, um, vassal claims as we go, stuff like that. Uh, I think we can do we can do invasions as well. We can claim Somnath. That is someone who does not have any kind of, uh, like, he would just, I would just be putting him in there as opposed to really getting anything out of it, so. We're going to need to do a lot of uh, marriage stuff to get the, uh, the claims we need. Anyway, let's go ahead and unpause. Let time speed by. We're trying to make money so that we can build up our uh, holdings. A new bird has arrived in the Muse, and a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Um, I'll start uh, reading the book. Offense or defense? That is the question. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go with aggressive leader. I do not like aggressive leader. Uh, defense or unyielding? Unyielding has no downsides. So whereas defender, you get plus 25 defense. You only get 10% defense with unyielding. Morale defense plus 20% seems pretty good, and taking no hit to damage seems pretty good. So I'm going to go with unyielding. A solid rock breaks the best steel. My men will be that rock. Or I could seek another area of expertise. Right now, we are getting a good amount of heavy infantry, a little bit of cavalry, and a little bit of light infantry. But we'll go with unyielding. I tend to like unyielding. The poetry book is really inspiring. I can feel creativity bursting through my body. Give me a quill! So I'm getting 1.59 um, monthly balance. Throughout the day, you've caught yourself grinding your teeth and being unable to focus on anything for long. Suddenly, you realize why you've been in a bad mood all day. You just can't seem to abide having lazy people in your presence anymore. So one of my concubines is slothful. I'll get her to be less slothful when I'm around. 
Uh, 56% chance she loses Slothful. 33% chance that her opinion will change. And 11% chance that she gains Stressed. And that would give me Stressed. Yeah, I don't want Stressed. Boop, she lost it. Excellent. How can I rely on my generals when their understanding of warfare is so lacking compared to my own? I could teach Arjuna Varman a thing or two. Teach him to be unyielding. Sure. I mean, any trade is better than no trade. He gratefully accepted my lessons in the art of war. With more generals like me, who can stand against us? And of course, the last episode, I did manage to get this uh, holding here. We can get castle walls in both places. Uh, castle walls here would probably be a little bit better because uh, it would just stack up the, uh, the percentages a little bit better. If I was going to do it, but I do think that I want to save up for um, militia training ground just for those... Those troops, but it's going to take a while. So we're only gaining 1.49. What am I spending money on, anyway? I mean, obviously there's some vassal taxes. <clears throat> oh, right. Liege levy maintenance, 0.53. That's, that's part of it. That's really just a little part of it. Mostly it is just taxes. Okay. Also, wasn't there a... Uh I could go with the allowed revocation. I should probably do that. I don't have anything else I can do. Uh, I need legalism greater than three. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Although, really... Once the county's converted... Plopping my guy down here would not be a bad thing. Uh, although I need 714 for that. That's a lot. We're pretty close to uh, late feudal administration, though. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Revocation of titles allowed. There we go. Uh, the people of Karbala have progressed beyond our own technolo technological level. I've managed to study their advancements, and their the documents enclosed here should help us reach their level. I hope you will find this to your satisfaction. Excellent. Excellent. Wonderful. All right, we got some uh, prosperity, and uh, we gained 50 military technology points. Not enough to increase anything, but we are getting cavalry skirmish techniques and military organization spread. Uh, we are getting spread in all of the economy. Uh, we're not getting any spread in culture because we have more culture. Far more culture than there. There's a uh, revolt going on down there. It's got a lot of troops, but uh, all I could do is border disputes. I don't have enough karma. Or gold. My modest attempts to uh, write poetry was never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting or singing my poems. Fame and fortune awaits. I get poet, diplomacy plus one, same trade opinion plus ten, or gain 15 prestige. That is way better. Uh, let's see, a subject has converted. Good. So you have created, uh... Raj of Ajmer. Alright, that's that. Alright, not a big deal. Ubadiah Sia has spent many weeks bent over ancient tomes and scrolls in search for more information regarding the rumored artifact. He claims to be on the right path, but apparently the progress is slow. He has asked me to order the best scholars in Mohadavaska to aid him in his efforts. 
Uh, technology spread rate minus 25%. I mean, we're not getting that much anyway. So only 1.8% chance, 3.6, 1.8. 4.2 7.2 Uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and take that. I was especially invited to my friend's sermon, and it was a catastrophe. The poor man stumbled, lost his words, and it was all an incomprehensible mess. I didn't dare tell him. Yeah, you know what? It really did not, uh, reduce my spread rate that much. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, I did not dare tell him what I thought about his sermon, so I just smiled and nodded nervously when, uh, Sia talked to me. He seemed to like me anyway. Good. <coughs> and my wife has died. Well, that is unfortunate. You're two years old. Um, let's go with duty. I would like to get, uh, getting more money means, like, being able to hire mercenaries, being able to do all kinds of other things, so I think that's okay. Recently fired, fired from the council, want seat on the council. Well, get good, sir, get good. You're just, like, bad. I have a better person here? No, not yet. Um, Alright, so I need a wife. Alright, well, I've got three concubines, so I don't need a wife who is of age. Uh, but let's start with age. We're going to look for people who have... Um, perhaps some... Uh, Let's see. There are two uh, Thakers, uh, uh, Thakanas, but that is that is this guy up here who's getting attacked. Although it looks like he just got crushed. And I would kind of like to avoid dealing with this guy. Oh, there's a revolt. How big is the revolt? Not very big. But she doesn't have the claims yet. Alright, who else? You're pregnant, so let's not go with you. Anyone with a claim right now? No. Alright. How about someone who is... Do we have any, like, geniuses or anything like that? Nope. We do not. Okay. What about... Um, Alright, you're right out because you're... No, wait, that is Kshatri. I was thinking that was uh, the Vaishya. stewardship would be pretty nice, but I don't really need more domain size at the moment. Alright, other people that would gain us uh, non-aggression pact. Let's count. Rudaraj. That is down there, but that would be really difficult to press a claim. Um... Something, like, over here. Do you have any... No. So being able to get land let that's, like, over here... Well, no, actually, because I did turn on the, uh, uh... The thing about, uh...
exclaves, so I need to be careful about that. You have sent your daughter off to China. That's unfortunate. Neither of you have kids. That's zero. Come on, people. All right, what about uh, within our realm? Sibling, child, nope. All right, let's actually uh, break this down so I can see what we got. All right, what about you? Yeah, range betrothal. Well, let me let me see if there's anyone who has someone who's uh, of age. I don't know that I'd want something this close, but uh, you're betrothed. And I don't want to. I don't want that guy because I want to go after that guy. What about Bana? She's seven. Seti. Nope. What about one of your uh, vassals? Well, that's definitely not it. Okay. Be a little bit difficult to get to, but. Alright. You've got kids. You're going for a duty. You are zero years old. Alright, so that's out. Yeah, let's go with her. Uh, range betrothal. With me. See if he agrees. He does. Form an alliance? Sure. We can try calling him into our war. Okay, uh, 23 gold, 50 prestige. Let's go ahead and uh, use that. My liege, but my work in Vad Vadodara seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I have managed to fabricate a claim on the Thakana of Vadodara, presently held by Count uh, Bartravada of Dadapadra. I leave it up to you whether you use it or not. I will use it. Uh, you accept the proposal for an alliance. Boop, let's get down here. He has not built a trade post is kind of interesting. And this guy is a vassal, so he does not actually hold that uh, that castle. This I think I'd want to make my capital, because there's so many holdings here and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of holdings there, and there's a lot of holdings there. And it would have the, the trade post, so... All right, massive recruitment drive. Very nice. So she just died of poor health, and it's a shame, because she was gregarious, diligent, and erudite. She had pretty good... She didn't have great stats, but she had good traits, which was nice. Anything else? No, not really. Uh, there is a society, the Advaita Matha... Uh, I guess since I do have a kid, um, it's not bad, because uh, we get fertility, and we we would increase piety a little bit more. And we get more learning. Uh, and you actually gain fertility when you're up this high. You can convert counties. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and join it. Uh, did not betray society, has personal wealth of 5.96, public follows Hindu, and age is greater or equal to 16. Peace be upon you, uh, 
Thakur Toramana. We are delighted by your decision to join our ranks as a lay member, Thakur. Together we shall strive for the betterment of ourselves and our feather fellow Hindus by following the four Puru Puru Sarthas. It is a great honor. Lose five gold, that's fine. Oh, can I change the face paint? Hate the face paint. Oh, I did also turn off the uh, the blood spatter because I'm not a fan of that. Um. All right, so society, we are there. We've got a devotion of zero. Total gain, 3.5. 1.5 for learning. Uh, plus one because I'm patient. Plus one because I'm kind. So it's not bad. Could be better. But uh, we'll get some extra monthly piety. Not that much, but every little bit helps. We'll gain some more learning. Uh, take a vow of celibacy. Renounce vow of celibacy. Give spiritual guidance. Uh, teach virtue and invite holy aesthetic. And convert county at temple build costs. Also, temple build cost minus 0.25 and uh, temple build cost minus 0.5. Which I guess is kind of nice. Although I tend to like cities better than temples, so. Your daily routine involves repeatedly swinging your blade at a training dummy. However, you can only learn so much from fighting an inanimate enemy. But but you can learn a lot from a dummy. And the practice gets dreadfully dull after a while. I could use someone to train with. So we could train with him, or I don't want to fight my friends. Um, yeah, we will train with you. He is now a uh, friend. Who do I have as my count court tutor? He's got 12. So my friend, he is brave, he is just, he is erudite, humble, he is wroth. But... Yeah, let's actually go with uh, him. I think he would be better. My friend, corporate musician. Um, I could boost up my spy master's uh, opinion. Yeah, let's do that. Still happy with what you guys are doing. I've received a letter from my fellow member of the Advaita Matha. Uh, Dear Brother Toramana, will you, as the Eastern scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry, or the attempt of it? Reading through the attached documents, there are multiple verses, all in honor of Brahma. Hmm, I'm missing the more comforting aspects of the faith. While I enjoy the metaphors, they seem a little forced. Writing is frivolous. Uh, I'm missing the more comforting aspects of faith. Let's go with that. The Order in Brahma cares much for the souls of our members. As such, we would like to advise you to go on a pilgrimage, since you have not yet done so. Okay. Why not? I can do hi tiger hunts, but that's expensive, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, 4.6 gold to go on a uh, pilgrimage. Sure. I can also donate to charity. Gain 100 devotion. Monthly karma plus one. Temple vassal opinion plus one. Ooh, and a 30% chance of getting charitable. Um, yeah, when I get more money, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be good to to do. Search for guru. I need 50 gold, but I need 300 prestige. All right, let's just go on a, a pilgrimage. I shall do a pilgrimage to one of the holy sites of the Hindu faith, seeking enlightenment and purification. I will start making travel plans. 20 karma. There are many places a devout Hindu might visit during a pilgrimage. They will undoubtedly all offer enlightenment, but a closer location may make for a safer journey. I will go to the eternal city of Varanasi to cleanse myself at the Ghats. I will travel to the mountain of Girnar. I will seek Mathura, the birthplace of Krishna. 
Well, I don't actually know what any of these are, so uh, let's just go, go with the first one. The Eternal City of Varanasi. I was beginning to think the that Shivamara took offense to my comments, but today I've received a new draft of his work. I am surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out, I implore you, brother, bear with me. It is not finished. Nonsense. This is brilliant work, and the world needs to see it. I would lose 55 gold, or... I think the Advaita Matha will treasure these words. Uh, you intend to make make sure the writings will go to the Advaita Matha for safekeeping. I get Preserver of Poetry for Monthly Karma plus one. That gets me Diplomacy for ten years. But it's a lot of money. I don't think, with the amount of money that I'm making right now, that that's worth it. Um, so I'm going to go for the Karma. Because getting more Karma right now would be good. I've packed my things and made preparations for my household to do the... Uh, to make do without me. It is time to set out for the ancient city of Varanasi. Soon I shall cleanse my body in the Ganges as generations have before me. My journey begins. Okay, you are my regent. Uh, he's making steady progress. I'm flattered that you think the Advaita Maitha could benefit from my work, Shivamara Talakad Ganga writes in his letter. Thank you for your support, brother. He continues before assuring me of the finishing touches he intends to see to before the final version of the manuscript will enter the library. I am honored to be surrounded by minds like Shivamara. I get budding friendship. Uh, heir to the Talakad Ganga Raj. All the way down there. All right. A friendship with the heir to that might be good. I might be able to uh, get some some stuff going with that. Aw, kitty! Any traveler would balk at the prospect of traversing hills and jungle, but it was a shorter route. Emerging from the undergrowth, however, it is uh, becoming increasingly clear that I have made a mistake. The road ahead is not necessarily as dangerous as what now lies behind, but it is quite clear... Quite clearly, not the right road. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted the, those locals. I should have paid better attention to the, their instructions. Let's ex explore this area and learn about life in the jungle. 10% chance of jungle expert. 10% chance of wounded. 10% chance of brave. So there's a 30%... I mean, there's a 30% chance that I get something. 70% that nothing happens. And... So 10% chance I have something bad happen, 20% chance something good happens, 70% chance nothing happens. Um, combat and jungle. I don't think we have any jungle around here, though. Planes, trains, automobiles. Yeah. Um... I would like Brave. Nothing. The pilgrimage is as much an inner adventure as it is a journey through the physical realm. As my goal grows ever closer, the people I meet and the places I see has made me reflect and reevaluate things I thought I knew about life. It is time to rest. 20% chance that I gain cynical. This is a marvelous opportunity. 20% uh, chance that I gain the poet trait, which I already have. 20% chance that I gain zealous. 10% chance of depressed. And I got nothing. The Eternal City. At the confluence of the Varuna and the Asi lies one of the oldest cities of India. Known by names such as Varanasi, Kasi, or Banaras, this is also one of the holiest places in the world. For thousands of years, pilgrims have visited the hundreds of temples and the many ghats that lead into the holy river Ganges. They have sought enlightenment and purification, or in some cases, to die in this place where the salvation where salvation is guaranteed. Eager to perform your own cleansing, you approach the uh, Dashashwamed Ghats, a set of stairs said to have been created to welcome Shiva by Lord Brahma millennia ago. You reflect on Ganges, Krishna, and the cycle of rebirth. I believe it is time for a bath. 
This place is invigorating to the mind. Being able to engage with so many great minds of religion and theology has stimulated my understanding and willingness to explore the finer points of the faith. Hours and even days are lost in conversation with sadhus, priests, sadhus, priests, and monks about the deeper meaning of the various passages in the uh, Mahabharata. The study of the Mahabharata will be my priority from now on. I gain scholar, a uh, 20% chance that I gain zealous, or enlightenment can only be achieved through meditation. I would like zealous for martial plus two. Scholar would block me from getting any military traits, but I would get three more learning. Um, I'll take it. Yeah, I got Scholar, did not get Zealous. I am home at last after my journey. I have learnt new things, experienced the greatness of the faith, and met with interesting people. While it is good to be home, I am confident I will always remember this trip very fondly. A great experience. Gain 30 karma. I gain Pilgrim. Monthly karma plus 0.1. And same faith opinion plus 5. Sad that is now known as the Youthful. A concubine. And yet she's gluttonous. I mean, I guess they're not contradictory. Great experience. My regency is done. Uh, we are glad to hear that you have performed a pilgrimage in the name of our faith. Again, 300 devotion. Okay, and to rank up, I need... 750. And I need to be here for three years. I'm not sure how long I have, but... That does help me quite a bit on getting to that... That goal. Alright, well, when we come back next time, we'll uh, see if we can get a claim on this area. Um, I think there was also something I was going to check. Uh, I thought that there was a great work in one of these areas. But that might be a great work that only shows up later. At later start dates. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. There's peasant Revolt over there. So I could do a border dispute with you, which would get me enough to get the uh, the duchy, I think. Oh no, you do actually have that duchy. Gujara Mandala. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Does he have other duchies? does. I'm not sure which one it actually is. This one here. Alright. I'm not sure if I could usurp the, uh, the other one. Oh well. Uh, not a big deal. I probably won't uh, do that until I get this land. Anyway, uh, when we come back next time, uh, we're going to continue to try to get uh, more money. It looks like uh, this guy succeeded in, in attacking up this way. Zabulistan. Uh, ooh, the, the Zunbils have uh, actually expanded, it looks like. Um, I would like to see them succeed, but I kind of doubt that they will. Anyway... Uh, when we come back next time, we will see what we can do about getting more money and actually getting a war going with uh, these guys down here. See you next time, everyone.